Hi, it's Emily Leary from A Mummy 2 and I am excited and you should be too because this is a waffle maker, a home waffle maker from Sage and I'm just so excited. Actually, if you're not excited, I don't think we can be friends anymore. I am going to try making classic waffles. So the first thing to do is work out how to turn this on. I need to set it to classic on the first dial and to number six on the second dial. I can do that. One, two, classic, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So let's get making the batter. I've got to whisk together the egg, milk, butter, and vanilla. Not the hardest thing I've ever done. Okay, set that to one side. Be careful not to burn myself on the waffle maker. I've now got my flour and sugar in here. I'm going to give them a good mix. And the next thing I need to do is make a well in the middle. Now this is self-raising flour, and if you think about it, it would need to be for a waffle because you want it to really puff up. I've made the well, and now I'm going to gradually whisk in the liquid mix. I probably should have done that more slowly, but I am desperately impatient. Now this isn't just an electric waffle iron, it does more than that. It knows what kind of waffle you want to cook, so it knows how hot to make it and it knows for how long to cook it. Or so they say, so let's see if it works. And then close up the lid. Five seconds, not that I'm eager. They're ready. Okay, so we open up. Not too much steam, that was okay actually. Out they come. Come out my pretties. <gasps> they are beautiful. Bit of syrup. And just look at those. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? But of course, the proof is in the tasting. Cut into them. Little bit crunchy on the outside, gorgeous and fluffy on the inside. And of course, just the way I like it, dripping in golden syrup. Now to taste. Just wow. These are without doubt the nicest waffles I've tasted and I've tasted a few waffles in my time. So what's really great about the waffle maker? Well, it tells you when it's done. You can set how well done you want it, can't argue with that, and it just stays so clean. It has a trough around the outside which catches any overflow as the waffles expand. Um, but it also just came out almost perfectly clean when I lifted the waffles out, so very little cleaning. And of course, one of the most delicious desserts you can possibly have. So do check out the Sage by Heston Blumenthal Waffle Maker on this link. Thanks for watching and as ever, don't forget to subscribe.